Hello and welcome to the 43rd tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at type aliasing. Type aliasing allows you to assign names or essentially keywords to different types in C++. So for example you could assign the name F to the keyword flow. So instead of using the keyword flow uh, to create flow variable you could just use the new type alias aka F. But you can still use float as well. It doesn't el eliminate that. So let's show you type aliasing it's actually something that I personally don't really use but it's a feature of C++ and it's, I believe it's worth teaching and it's up to you whether you want to use it so we just do type def so you just type in the word type def and you type in the existing keyword so float we're going to put f because that's what we want to that's the alias we want to assign to it so Instead of creating a variable with the keyword flow, we can just use f. Then we can name our variable and do variable. That's very creative, as you can see. It is 9.8. Now, if we just do std, c out variable, std, and y. Now if we run this we get 9.8 but if we just change this to float as you can see it still works obviously we still got the original keyword it doesn't eliminate that by any means alternatively you can also use this um, they both do the same thing you can do using f equals float It does exactly the same thing as type def, but again, it's up to you whichever one you want to use. I'm just going to comment this one. I personally prefer this one if I were to use it, just because of just because of how it looks. But again, that's totally up to you. That's it for this part. In the next part of this series, we'll be looking at union. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on the video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.